she's with Alessio Bass Real Estate. And um, I've been working with her for about five, six months now. Um, I've known her over 20, so we go way back. 20 years. Uh, yeah. Yep. Um, but what I've been doing is, um, well, of course, you know, I'm on pretty much every week with you. Um, but we've been, I've been blogging, uh, tweeting. I've started her Pinterest boards. Um, uh, we've, we started a, a monthly newsletter mm -hmm. that we've been doing, I think, three or four months now. Yep. I keep writing her to do um, video emails. She did do her first live Instagram video awesome. last week. So awesome. I was pretty excited. <laughs> what was the topic of that video email? She was at an open house, and so she was just walking around talking about the house. Did she do a Facebook Live? Instagram Live. Instagram Live. Same thing, yeah. right? Pretty much. I think, which I think, yeah. the, I think is as good, if not even better, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. So, that was, that was fun. Um, probably my biggest challenges is getting followers, getting, getting it out there. Mm -hmm. You know, just trying to, trying to build up, trying to build up her name and build up um, her business and just, mm -hmm. you know, we have our own friends and stuff that, you know, like and share and comment or whatever, but it just doesn't seem to be going any further than that. Well, what are some of the things you're doing to generate more likes? Because obviously you get likes, then any more content you get out, it's going to be pushed those people, especially when you boost it, right? Right. Right. So, um, what are you doing there? well, we're, uh, oh, we're, we're, we're posting, um, articles that we feel are relevant. Um, we're doing, we're trying to do polls, um, ask questions, just anything to try to get some, uh, just some feedback. Mm -hmm. And, uh, Oh, it's just, it's, it's, it's slow going, but yeah. Yep. You just started. You said it's only been a few months. So well, let's go into your content strategy. And these are some of the things I'm going to talk to the group about today. What is your content strategy, right? What are some of the things? And can, can, can I, can you direct me to your Mary's website real quick? Uh, it's a uh, Lessio Bass real estate.com. B A S S. Yeah. A L E S S I O. So you need another S B A S S real estate.com. Did we build this website for you? Yes. Okay. I did something wrong. No, oh, that's what I thought it was. <laughs> A-L-L-E-S-S-I-O. Oh, sorry. It's one, it's one L. You know, you think after 20 years, I don't have to spell her name. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. All right. So clean, clean looking website. looks good on a mobile device, right? Mm -hmm. All right. So you've done some blogging, right? Right. Look at the content, the power of gratitude, which is awesome this time of year, right? You wrote this article. I did. November's a month of gratitude. Great. I hear about this friend listening to grateful for. Okay. Awesome. I think this is awesome by the way. And I'm just looking at some of the content and it's so, mm -hmm. so huge. Right. Mm -hmm. So we look at this last will and Testament, right. Estate planning. Right. So this is real educational type stuff here. Right. So mm -hmm. one of them, one of them was not relative to, to real estate. The other one's relative to real estate. Right. Right. And this one was uh, October 10th. Okay. Um, then you got estate planning part one, estate planning part two. And this is the our, this is the one I made for you guys, right? Right. I've got right. another one that's going to be posted this week. You're right. Uh, so could now be a good time to sell in your home. So <clears throat> um can you direct me to her video on Pinterest? Let's see. Do you have the uh where's the link? Is the link to Pinterest on your website? No. Um where can no, I, I haven't been able to figure out how to put that or not Pinterest, Pinterest. I meant uh, Instagram. Um, oh, you can't, and you can't go to Instagram from the desktop, right? So no, yeah, I can't yeah. do anything on the desktop. Yeah. Now. Not a problem. Is there any way I can look at her, any videos she's done? Um, I think that's the only one that she's done was just that one video. Um, she hasn't been doing a whole lot of posting on Instagram since I really can't do it for her. Yep. It makes it a little more difficult. Yep. Uh, let's see. I think where she is. She is, her Instagram is Mary Alessio Bass. All Got one it. word. Yeah. 
So, I mean, if I can't show the group, I don't want to do it now, but mm. um, cause just so you guys know, for those of you that don't know, um, is, um, yeah, is you, you want to, um, with Instagram, you got to look from a mobile device. You can't go on desktop. So Dave Sedonis asked, did it post to Facebook as well? And that's a great question, right? Um, it did so, not. Didn't. Okay. It did not. So, I haven't been able to get anything I post on the website to, I mean, on her website to post to Facebook or Twitter or anything. I always have to do it manually. Yep. Um, but she can, what she posts to, if she posts any pictures to Instagram, it does show up on Facebook, but the live does not. Okay. So what you're going to want to do is send Chelsea an email and tell okay. her, tell her you want to hook up social media syndication with her website. Okay. Okay. So what we have is we, we, we use a third party to do this. Basically what we do is we tie. So when we build websites for people, we're able to tie all their social media sites to the website. So any content the post on your blog and, and I highly recommend video and, and, and Instagram and or Facebook live. Um, and so that it automatically will post to, to your, to your, uh, to your social media accounts. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, that's a very simple thing. And that's a very important thing. It's a one to many approach and that's the key to is called content syndication. So, I mean, guess how many followers does Mary have right now? On what? On all of her, all of her social media channels. Um, I think she's got about 160 on Facebook. Those are her fan page or business fan page? Her, her business page. Okay. Um, she's got like 19 on Twitter and I think 15 on Pinterest. Okay. Like I said, it's, it's not, it's not a lot. <laughs> Well, guess what? 100, 100, 160 people following her uh, will be aware of three real estate transactions next year, right? right. Um, that's 480 potential referral opportunities, right? So, you know, there's a ton of business there. We just got a, a couple of things, guys. And, I'm, and the reason why I'm asking these questions is because um, Mary's actually doing, and through Jamie's help, is, is, a, is, is a much better job than most people are doing um, relative to internet marketing. Okay. So the first thing when it comes to internet marketing is to recognize that number one, we need, we need an audience. Okay. So we have got to build our audience, which is what Jamie wants to learn how to do is how do we build our followers? Right. And, and then the second thing, so we've got audience, you know, growth is number one, right? Number two is our content strategy, you know? Uh, and then three is our distribution of that content. Right. Um, and our content strategy is gotta be, and, and this is one of the things that I wanted to share with you, all right, with you guys, right? 70% of the content needs to be, ready, things that people can gain benefit from, right? You know, we, we did a, a, we did a, a post, um, I don't know, last year or so. It was oh, just five, five key, I don't know, the blog was something like five things to know, you know, five things to watch out for regarding mold or mildew, right? It was this title, right? Uh, do you have it in your house, right? And, and, you know, I, there's a client in Chicago that literally got, I don't know, 180, 200 people to his website in day one, right? They clicked on it. They saw the article and they looked at his website. <laughs> That's fantastic, right? Now, his website should also have many ways to interact, like me on Twitter, like me on Facebook, right? And because um, and we want to we connect with people, either them filling out a form to become part of our monthly newsletter uh, uh, to like us on Facebook or Twitter so that you have more followers, right? So those are the three things. And, and that's really what I want you guys to look at. When I looked at our, our deliverable, okay, over the last several months, obviously we dipped into sales training a little bit more this year. It's my background. Um, you know, CRM is just a, you know, one component of we're teaching you how to use a CRM. We teach you how to do workflow management. We teach you how to sell. We teach you how to prospect through the spider advocate program. We provide you with collaterals and materials to be able to do these things. We talk about goals and plans, but you know, the, the million dollar question is what do we do now to build uh, an, a, an outstanding brand, right? For our business. Um, you know, it's, it's, let me just go to Facebook real quick. Facebook still 74%, just so you guys know the stats, 74% of all referrals in the real estate industry are still coming from Facebook, right? Isn't that amazing? 74%. So, I mean, we obviously want to do that. Crush it, crush it, notifi notification. What do we got here? Uh, crush it as one new post like, right? Um, so I just did a, a simple Facebook live and I did a couple of them. I did one Friday. I did one yesterday, right? 
let me just go here for a second, guys. Video is, is, is everything, okay? Video is way more powerful than anything written. Uh, people still do read. It's still important and powerful to do that. Now, for some reason, this posted sideways. It shouldn't have because it re I recorded it landscape. But um, this one right here, let me just see if I can play it for you guys. Uh, can you hear that, Jamie? No. Let me do this. Hang on a sec. Jamie, can you hear me? And I, and I asked them the yes. question. Okay, can you hear it now? Next piece of business going yes. Inevitably, the answer is always, they don't know. You know, it's interesting um, how stressful it must be to, to, to not have a system that you can follow where A plus B equals C. You know what I mean? Um, where a system that, that based on the cause and effect nature of taking the right actions and getting the right results and nobody ever really taught most of these agents that I, that I see over the years um, how to create predictability and duplication uh, in their prospecting efforts or their marketing efforts, you know. And as a result of that, that's why so many people are responding to, you know, um, webinars that say, hey, I got 6,000 leads, uh, you know, follow my webinar for online marketing and, re you know, past client repeat business is a thing of the past. When, right, you know, so that was just more educational in nature, from that. right? I know my target audience, right? I did one yesterday. Let me just click here real quick. Stay with me, guys. For a Pat Fenton wanted to reach out to you, say hello. Specifically, want to talk to the audience and uh, to in the Phoenix and the Raleigh markets that I'll be uh, coming out and doing the live Crush It event this week. Now, the question you have is, why the heck would I come out to, to see Pat Fenton Speak. Can you hear me? So you guys can go to crushitevents.com Facebook to kind of look at those videos. But we're going to boost this post today. And again, 14 people reach, 13 engagements. That's just making a video. And by the way, the Crush It website was only made in October. We just made the Crush It website, right? So, um, you know, to the fact that, you know, we have very few followers. Just, I mean, we've only done a couple events in, you know, over the last few months. Um, you know, just even though I reached 14 people, you get people, a couple people shared the link, right? But now when we boost it, I expect that that number will be about 300 by the end of today or tomorrow, right? Because we're going to spend some money and boost the post. And, but I know my target audience. Wow, I create that audience. And, but it's video, right? And it's just me talking. Now, the, we, will, we will get, now watch this, all right? I'm just using my company as an example. We will get about 15 people to attend our program, okay? from this from facebook okay and we do this we do an ad we spend not nominal dollars right when i say a couple, like a couple hundred dollars okay and out of those 15 people five people will make a 500 hundred dollar investment right that's 2500 dollars okay and it will only cost me about two to three hundred dollars right but even more importantly than that there's content out there there's video out there right and what did it take all i did was was grab a, a little tripod for my phone uh, it's crushitevents.com, Jim. Crushitevents.com, right? Is uh, yes, what the Crush It Events website is, right? So, um, you know, can can you monetize social media? Yeah, but you have to you have to look at marketing and say, you know what? There's no such thing as a home run. There's base hits, right? So you have to be everywhere, and you have to have videos out there, right? And now, from a real estate perspective, okay. When you look at your content strategy for 2019, okay, a couple things I'm going to uh, share with you, okay. Number one, you can do it on your own, okay. You can do what Jamie's doing, and she's creating blogs, and she's going to call Chelsea, hook it up to social media, so there's social media syndication. You can write an article a week. I would recommend at least once a week some kind of con piece of content that educates people relative to home ownership. And now you can take those seven core topics of the Spider Advocate program, saving what you can recommend a vendor. So you can take that same program. Guys, I have a program that's designed to save you roughly 20 to 30% annually in your home spending. Uh, as part of being a real estate agent, I think it's my responsibility to help people not only get in the home, 
but also to help them add value while they're actually living in the home. As a result, over the last several months, I've developed a, a program that is designed to save you roughly 20 to 30 percent annually on your home spending, whether it's preserving, maintaining, upgrading the home in any way, shape, or form. So I have a stable of contractors. Let me just mute you guys. There's a little bit of background. Um, I have a stable of contractors that. Hang on, mute. You change me. There we go. Nice and clean now. Um, that that from roofing, landscapers, plumbers, mural painters, you name it. If you need anything in and around your house, uh, you need a referral. These are people that are giving substantial, in many cases, substantial discounts. And in some cases, just really nice discounts. But most importantly, priority level service. These are A-rated top level people that I know, like, trust, and respect uh, that are here to service the people that I know. That includes my followers on Facebook, Pinterest, Twitter, as well as my close friends and, and of course, my clients who I, I hold dear, near and dear. Uh, should you need anything, please reach out, give us a call. And if you feel like you like this uh, information, you like this service, please go ahead and click the like button at the bottom. Tell them what to do. Tell them to click the like button, right? So how hard is that to do? So now once we create that video, that video should go on your website, right? That video should be syndicated through all your social media accounts, posted on all your social media accounts. You can now do a Facebook ad with that video to generate more, more, more likes as well, right? So let me just go, I don't know. Uh, I don't know. This is not my account. So um, I'll just go Larry Cohen. I know Chelsea does some marketing for Larry, but let me just go to manage ads. Okay. So this is what I want to show. So Jamie Cox, you want to grow your audience. Well, let me just close the loop on where I was going with this um, conversation. Okay. Um, let me back up. I don't want to go on Greg's. He's a financial advisor. But my wife actually does the internet marketing for some clients. You can see here, 58 grand, grand spend on this organization. I don't know who it is, but um, they spent 58,000 on Facebook. You don't spend 58,000 without a return on investment. I'll tell you that, okay? Um, <clears throat> so is Harbor Hills. Okay. Is we are going to, in January, okay, and this is my initial intent, but, you know, having the time to, one of the things is search, searching out really good content providers, uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a good writer and I know the psychology of sales. So um, the articles create urgency and the blogs that I create, and the videos I create, create urgency and they, they please people. And it really is, they're effective uh, because I'm, I'm highly trained at doing this. Right. So I had a problem with just selecting a vendor because they just, they didn't, there was no call. Many of the content providers out there was just, okay, great, great content. People read it. They like it and they do nothing. They don't follow you. They don't take action. They don't engage with you. Right. And that doesn't solve the problem. So, um, in January, uh, we are, we are um, not only for most people that about 85% of our clients that have been with us, okay, we have built their website for, okay. The reason why is because we have built a plugin between the spider CRM and the websites that we build. And we can do that when we build it. There's no, there's not a single web company out there that will allow allow you to put our spider plugin in there because it could screw everything up on their end, right? Uh, their whole CMS system. Um, so the companies, the people that, that have us build their website, number one, we build a clean, mobile-friendly, optimized website. Number two, we, we set up social media syndication. So every, every post goes to all your social media. But number three is actually tackling the content side. So what we're going to do come January, and there's a, it's a $35 upcharge, okay? So your monthly goes from 69 to 97. Um, is the X one blog and or vlog video per week to your website and hence all your social media sites. So that it, if you're not going to do anything, at least we are doing it. If you spend an extra 35 bucks, so if that's something you're interested in, just let us know. Um, we're not going to do it right away. Probably the, um, we're going to launch it probably midway through January. Um, if that's something you're interested in having us do for you is managing your content strategy, um, just let us know, you know, uh, most content is, um, you know, a hundred bucks a month just for content, you know, and I don't know the quality of it, but, um, you're already paying us for the spider CRM. So it's it enable, it'll, it'll, we have enough clients to be able to monetize that and make it worth our while. So, um, if that's something you're interested in guys, just, just let me know and I'll put you in a list of, we'll, we'll, we'll send an invitation out. We'll do a quick webinar and probably the first or second week of January, tell you what we're going to do, give you samples of the content, 
And then uh, in order to do that though, we've got to build your website. So for those of you that know that us building your website, it's 997, one time fee, right? And then we do all, we build a kick-ass website, we tie your social media. This is not, believe it or not, I, I, this is not a, 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 um, a sales pitch. It really isn't, okay? But it's just to make sure that if you know that uh, uh, having an internet marketing strategy is paramount to your business so that you have a solid brand, okay, um, that people see you, that there's videos out there, when, how and why does this work? Well, I'm here to tell you that, you know, you're very seldomly going to take a Facebook sales funnel, whether you're promoting, unless you're promoting a house, if you promote a house and you do a video ad on Facebook, yes, you can, you can absolutely find a buyer for that house. It'll be great, right? Sometimes you can actually find sellers where you put content out there and they'll actually fill out a form, call you and, and but that's few and far between. Okay. Why? Any times we're selling high ticket stuff online. Okay. Real estate, houses, mortgages are, are, are amongst the highest, right? Um, it's a relationship business and always will be, but we've got to build the relationship by getting them connected with us, liking us on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, right? And it's the, it is the content strategy that, that proves your capabilities, right? And provides the consumer the level of comfort that you're good at what you do. And if you continually do that, what's going to happen is eventually – your phone's going to start ringing, okay? And But the reason why it doesn't for most real estate agents is because they're intermittent with their commitment to content, right? So you'll go to most real estate agents' websites, you'll see a blog, you know, last week, and then the next blog was March and of 2017, and one before that's 2015, right? That's no good, all right? It's no good for Google either because Google doesn't like to see that. Google likes consistent commitment to content, Right? So the million dollar question is, do you have the time and will you actually do it at least once a week? Um, and, and if nothing else, I will tell you, simply doing a, doing a Facebook Live, okay, uh, how do you do Facebook Live? For those of you that have never done it, um, let's just, uh, let, me, let me just show you really quick. Let me get out of Ads Manager. I'll come back to this in a second, guys. I know I'm bouncing around a little bit, but <clears throat> um, let's go here. All right. New notification from Dave Sedona. It's okay. Um, so I'll just go to Crush It Events. The first thing you're going to want to get download is uh, what's called Pages for Facebook. That's the easiest way to do it from your mobile device. Um, is download pages, right? So I, that's how I do it for my mobile device. So, um, you know, here's the videos, etc. cetera. Um, so if you download pages and you want to just, you know, um, you want to click on, um, let me just grab my phone real quick. So I'm making sure I share with you guys the right thing here. So pick up your mobile phone right now, guys. Click on, um, whatever your business page is, right? And then click on, click on posts, right? I gotta go back real quick. So if you click on the publish button, publish is what you wanna click on. Okay, so if you have your phone and you, you see a publish button, click on publish, right? And you'll see here, uh, photo, video. I'm just doing it from the desktop here. Check in. Uh, let me see. I've never done it from a desktop, so bear with me for a second. And that'll go to your photos and videos you have online. Um, so if you pick up your mobile device and you click on post and you'll go down there and you'll actually see live video, right? That's all you got to do is click on live video. Let me see if I can find it on the desktop here. Maybe Jamie can help me out. You there, Jamie? I got yep. you muted. Where is it on the desktop? <clears throat> uh, if you scroll down. Yep. To where it says create post. Yeah. That next to it says live. You see right next to create. Oh, live. There it is. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Yep. There's live. 
All right. So now it's actually pulling up my uh, There it is. Can you guys see me? Yep. All right. Now I got my glasses on because I'm old. All right. So there you go. You know, you click, click, you click, you know, um, you click go, record, and I'm probably I'm on live right now. Now you can, uh, I'll have a live video. Got it. Okay. Um, so once you do that, now you click go live here, and now you're live. I always make sure I have a microphone, you know, so what I got here, guys, literally okay i got this right behind my computer right and it's got a microphone that will actually attach to my cell phone in here so yeah most microphones come with a microphone jack like this right so you got to buy the little you know converter the lightning there you go right now you're ready to go live and it comes with a little clip i got this at best buy for 13 dollars right as a microphone on both sides you clip it here <coughs> now what i also do right right behind my this is really state-of-the-art stuff guys so you may not be able to get this right a couple amazon boxes from stuff my wife bought and i put it right behind so it's eye level and then I set up, right, this little thing I got for like 10 bucks on, actually I went to um, Walmart and got this for like 10 bucks, right? And this is good because you can put this around posts and poles or doing stuff outside, whatever, but this just sits up on the box, right? And I put my camera right inside here, right? And I pull it up, right? Put it on my box so it's eye level and I go, you know? And then, so how do you get more followers from that? Well you boost it. So, and when you boost the post, let me click leave. When you boost the post, you, um, you can, you can target like audiences. So let's just go through ads real quick. So we want to get more people, right? So we need compelling content. Okay. And most of the time, you know, if you're in the mortgage industry, you know, compelling content can be, you know, uh, different products that are, you know, Hey, 10% if your new construction would be a good, a good buzz right now, because uh, there's not a lot of inventory in a lot of markets, right? So if you actually um, did a sales funnel and a video on your new construction product and how there's only 10% down, you give a cut by, put your information, add your first, last name, and email address, and I'll send you a flyer that covers all the details. If you should, you want to give me a call, my numbers below, reach out to me and, and I can answer any, any questions you have. Thanks for watching this video. But, you know, from a real estate perspective, okay, we know that can people, because of Zillow and Trulia, right, Realtor, that, that people do respond to, obviously, online, they respond to property. So if you get a listing, part of your pre-launch for that listing is building up the hype for that thing, is doing a really good video, and you can take that little selfie stick, hang on one second, well, you guys know what a selfie stick looks like, I was just going to show you mine. And do the same thing, grab a microphone, right? Get a little cord and hold that selfie stick up and just go around that property and say, guys, you know, get, this is before any, this is just down and dirty, right? And you do an ad and say, this house is coming for sale. I want to let you know, look at the beautiful kitchen. Should you want to contact me and be one of the first people in this home, please tell them what to do. Click below, enter your first, last name, and email address, and I'll send you a personal invitation of a private viewing, a pre-launch viewing, right? I'm just giving you guys some ideas, right? By the way, when your actual sellers see that you're doing that, they're going to fall in love with you even more, right? Because so they know that you're, you're assertive, you're busting your butt, okay, to get that house sold. So let me go to, uh, but Facebook, doing ads, guys, you click on manage ads. First of all, you have to have a, a, a Facebook business page, okay? And to do a Facebook business page is very simple, right? You go back to, you know, just create a new page. And if you need help doing that, let us know. My, my staff will build one for next to nothing for you guys, make it really nice. Um, but you guys know how to do this. It's not difficult. Put a nice header, nice picture in there, and you got to start putting some content in there, right? So we want to do an ad, okay? Click create ad. No, we don't focus on politics. Wow, they're really getting political, Facebook, huh? Unbelievable. Does your business focus on politics? You definitely don't put anything conservative on Facebook. They'll hate you. So, um, all right, here we go. All right, so now, what are we looking to do? 
okay? Traffic to our website, engagement, app installs. Video views, by the way, video views would be a good one if you're marketing properties, if you're a real estate agent, okay? The lead generation, okay, is Facebook has its own form, okay? Why is it so easy and why is, this was brand new last year, by the way, okay? They figured that, hey, we've already got their information. We've got their phone number. We got their email address. So by doing a lead gen uh, ad on Facebook, their information, for, when they click on learn more, their information's already, already popped up. Now all they got to do is click a button. So it makes it easier. They don't have to actually type their first, last name, and email address in. Okay, which is great. You can get leads and start working right away. However, the downside of that is ultimately what we'd like to have happen is we want to take people to our website. So we want our website to grow. We want to develop SEO. We want to develop search engine. We want to rank in Google. We want to become a more of a local market brand. And, and if, you're, if you're using their lead gen form and they're staying within inside the Facebook framework, well, that is not growing your overall, you know, Google optimized, you know, strategy. Okay. Yet the positive side of that is people are generally lazy and their information's right there and they can very easily opt in. Okay. Well, how do we know which one's best for you? Do both, right? Do one ad for, with their form and do one ad without. So let's just click on traffic, okay? Um, we want to get uh, traffic. By the way, messages is the ability to, and I, again, one of the things that we have done so many videos on Facebook, but yet Facebook also has added so much over the last three months, and they've also changed their user interface a lot recently, um, that I told Chelsea, who's our internet marketing guru, okay, that I want these 21 videos done with the most relevant up-to-date Facebook technology and Google AdWords uh, interfaces so that you guys can look at different modules like how to do a messaging ad, how to do a lead gen ad, how to do, you know, a traffic ad. And you know, examples of each one, put that in your back office so that you at the dime wanted to go through and watch a quick tutorial that you could do that, okay? Um, so let's just name this traffic campaign. Um, and we'll call this campaign, you know, let's just call this um, my um, building my likes campaign, whatever, okay? Just click continue. All right, ad set name. Now, let me explain ad sets, okay? If you're a manufacturing organization or a distributor of electronics, let's just say, and you've got all these different departments, let's look at Lowe's, all right? So Lowe's would say this is the lumber ad set, you know, then there's the electronics ad set, then there's the plumbing ad set. Well, we're only selling one thing. We're selling real estate, we're selling mortgages, right? So typically you're just gonna have one ad set and I'm gonna ask you to do, now underneath ad set will be ads, which I would recommend for split testing purposes, you do at least three different ads within one campaign so that you can test which one is sticking and working with people more than the others, okay? That's called split testing. So let's just call this ad set one, right? Even though we're only gonna have one ad set. I hope that makes sense, guys, right? Um, traffic, choose where you wanna drive traffic to. You wanna drive traffic to my website, okay? Um, drive more consistent com um, conversions by creating an offer. People can see and save money on. Obviously, we know that many people are driven by discounts, et cetera. So you gotta kind of know your, your industry and business. Um, the key to Facebook marketing is actually right here, audiences, right? You'll see that there's saved audiences. In this case, we do marketing for a retirement community. And we have, you know, Florida 45 plus likely to move, hustling, right? 3.8 million people as part of that audience to target um, the whole 1.2 million people based on behaviors likely to move. So Chelsea's done a fair amount of really identifying what's called, ready? Here's an important word for you guys, the, your avatar. Your avatar is who is your ideal client? Who do you want to market to? Okay. Let's just say, for example, all right, in this case, I wanted to market to millennials because millennials represent the biggest group of buyers, okay? Um, so I'm gonna click create a new audience and you need to spend time, right? Really driving down and see this lookalike audience, right? Let's just go to custom audiences. Wait, first of all, let's select our location. You wanna stick to your local market. Oh, 
when I do. Let me back up. Sorry about that, guys. Give me two seconds. All right, so see, I've changed this. Um, oh, so here's here's what here's what's going on here. And here you're going to be able to type in certain things, but because Chelsea has created so many different audiences that are really driven down for really specifically for a, um, a retirement community, that's they've kind of you know fixated. Right, home sales, all, everything that she has previously tried to search and create audiences for. So let's just call this home. I'm just trying to figure out again if I click on that. Oh, well, they have made some changes even in the last few weeks. Interesting. So when you create the audience first, again, and I think guys, just so you guys know, go to your Facebook account. Again, because this is very niche to, to, to Harbor Hills and she's got defined audiences, whatnot. It's not letting me type in the things that you guys are able to type in there, which you can type in. So you got to define your, your audience, millennials, homeowners. All right. You can target people of certain, uh, um, genders if you wanted to certain age groups okay so when, once you define your audience like who do you want to market to and you select your area all right you may want to market just to everybody but certain age groups in your area or you know the behaviors are likely to buy homes they'll allow you to do that likely to buy homes likely to sell homes all right type in for sale by owner because anybody that's ever been to for sale by owner.com is going, they, they know all those people because they're talking about it and Facebook knows everything about everybody. They do. So any, any kind of conversation that's taking place is going into their data, okay, and that's being carefully analyzed so that people like you can actually promote to them. So, and again, I did a poor job of showing you guys because I couldn't in this particular account, but you know, when you go into audience, start typing in, you'll see this drop down appear and you can select the people and you'll start to see this little, um, pin over here, grow from broad to specific. And you want to make sure you're obviously in the green. Okay. So it's reaching enough people. Here's age, right? So you may want to say, all right, 25 and over, doesn't matter men or women, select your languages, detail targeting people who match at least one of the following, you know, oh, here it is. There we go. Millennials, right? That's what I was missing the whole time, just so you know. It was under detailed targeting, which is, again, an update for them. Since the last time, I don't do our Facebook ads, but, you know, I know enough to be dangerous. All right, so you, this is where you're going to, oh, I'm selling home, homeowners. Homeowners. 
small business owners. If you did a, you know, we want to target small business owners or whatever, start just typing in certain things. Let's just call this likely to buy. Likely to engage with political content. Okay, so just my point is you're gonna to have to spend time detailed targeting who you wanna actually target. Start typing in things and, and see, what, see what they give you and, and select it. And then once you do it one time, you save it. So you always have that audience to do another ad for, okay? So automatic placements, keep it at automatic placement, set your bu budget, what's your daily budget gonna be, right? Start small and grow it, okay? Um, run my ad set continuously and now at this, I know they changed. Okay. Set my start and end date. Okay. So you can set your start and end date. So you can really define what you're willing to spend. Just so you know, you can always pause it. All right. It doesn't commit you hundred percent to it, but find out what you're willing to throw at Facebook to get new more, more likes. Okay. And stick to it. Um, lowest cost. Absolutely. When you get charged an impression. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Delivery continue. Now it's going to give you the option, right? So if you're, if you're promoting a home, the carousel would be a good thing to do. That's a couple different images, maybe one, the exterior, two, or the interior, right? You got the kitchen, the master, and the outside, right? A single image, you know, if you're marketing a product or a single video, if you're to you, right? You, you record a video and you want to promote, or you can do a slideshow, which might be good for doing properties as well, okay? For now, I'm just going to select single image. You know, and I, I've got a, a gallery, or you can click on view free stock photos, right? Let's just do this real quick. Free stock images. Okay. Millennials buying a home. Let's see what comes up. You know, it's taken a bit, but here we go. All right, let's just, so you're gonna to wanna to select at least three, possibly up to five images because you'll, sometimes people respond to one image, but not another. And I will tell you, oftentimes the image you're like, oh, I don't really like that image, but I'll add in there. That ends up being like the, 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 the money image, right? So don't judge images to throw them out there. And then uh, you can always pause the ones that's getting no clicks, right? And then just focus on uh, them showing the ones that actually are working, okay? <clears throat> so here's our ad preview. Now we're going to do text, right? So you'll see the name of your company out there and it'll say sponsor. This is what your ad's going to look like on Facebook, right? Um, Right? Hey, millennials, tired of low inventory? Buy a brand new home today for 10% down, 580 credit score. Learn more and how to see video. Now, again, <clears throat> sometimes your ads are just going to be informative. Sometimes your ads are going to be actual real estate property. And sometimes you're going to create a really good video blog or just a regular written blog, right? And you're going to want to actually take that content and kind of do an ad with it. Okay. I would always, you know, the key to marketing, guys, all right? Remember, Marketing has never changed. When you look at the people that have been successful at marketing over the years, let's just take car dealers that you're, they're always on the radio. That same car dealer is always on TV, right? And they're always there. They have been for years, right? They're spending 30, 40,000 a month, right? They're not doing it because they like burning money. 
they like doing it because it's ringing the bell, right? But if 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 that same, if car that's car dealer A, car dealer B says, you know what, we're going to spend a hundred grand this month, and then they get nothing out of it, and they're like, oh my god, that just doesn't work. It's a complete waste of time. See, in a traditional sense, it's always, you know, he with the most dollars, right, to throw at marketing and to do it all the time, really monetize the crap out of marketing. Well, with social media has provided you, okay, the real estate agent, the loan originator, companies like my company with, is the ability to not have to spend the money to, to broadcast to a bunch of people that are, are not interested in cars right now. Because when they do that TV ad, you're not only reaching people that, uh, are interested in a car, but you're reaching 95, 98% of the people that just bought a car right? or not, have no interest in a car, right? Um, and you have to pay to reach those same set of eyeballs because that's the downside of traditional media, which is why it's so expensive. But because Facebook has so much granular and Google has so much granular and, 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 and Instagram has so much granular knowledge on people, you can now just target certain people with your ads, which reduces the cost of hitting those people. Can you imagine spending $5 a day and getting 100 likes, right, th that day? Well, how powerful that is, and now they're connected with you? And then you can do social media syndication and, a, you know, a t spend 10 bucks boosting a post to get them to see a quick video on you? That's a sales pitch. I mean, how much would you pay a salesperson to do 100 sales pitches a day for you, right? That's why I think video is, is you guys should all be considering doing videos because, videos they get you can get more information across to them and they can see your face and hear your voice and you're able to drive emotion you can't do that with with just written scripted stuff right my the moral of the story is whatever you decide and when you're doing your business plan for 2019 decide what you're willing to throw at facebook with abs with an expectation of getting zero in return for the first three months Sometimes people get a deal on day one. Sometimes people get a deal in the first month. But I want your expectation to be zero business for three months and okay with it. But you will get hundreds of people, visitors to your website, and you will get hundreds of people to like you on Facebook, okay? As long as the, the content's good, all right? So, you know, webs enter your URL you want to take people to. Now, <clears throat> what I teach, and I've already given this class to you guys, is to create an online sales funnel through the landing page maker here, right? And if we built a website for you, you know how to convert it right to your to an extension of your website. So if you did a, well, let's just use this example while I'm here, George Bredding, he's on the call, we built his website, and he would come in here and actually create the, 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 the sales funnel, okay, uh, inside the spider landing pages. He would then go to his website, click a couple buttons, and next thing you know, it's published on his website. So now the link is not this random spider CRM generated link. The link is georgebreading.com forward slash M and T bank, you know, new construction loan, or just forget M and T bank, new construction loan. Right. So now that having that in the URL is really good for ranking, you know, so then you would actually go to that part of his website. I know a guy named Jason Brown that we built. Let's see. I use him quite a bit as an example because he's been a really good, he started off really slow and now he gets calls every day from his website. It took him six months to a year to do that, okay? But he now, he's now monetizing it. So I can take, you know, and his resources, where all his sales funnels are, and by the way, we do this for everybody we build a website for. These are all sales funnels we've created. They're already done for you, right? And they're really good videos. And you can take whatever, you know, um, let's just call this, you know, as a first time home buyer, right? So there's his link, findjasonbrown.com forward slash first time home buyer, right? And when he goes to place that ad, he's going to use that as his link because that's where he wants to drive people to. So you would paste it right there. Headline. Best new construction loan on the, the market simple. Okay. So the click, the learn more is going to take them to that URL. Okay. Notice the display link, which is optional is what you want the link to actually display. This is where they're going to go to. That's the destination URL, you know, and you just go find Jason Brown.com. 
So down here, you can actually do, you know, more. So if people can drill down and there's more information, you can just start, start, start typing more stuff up, right? And, and once you're done, you know, this is Pixel. We talked to you guys about Pixel. And you know that Facebook Pixel ID, well, when I place this ad, why is this important? Facebook gives you one pixel. I showed you in the previous class of internet marketing where to find your pixel. You get one pixel code. But I, by attaching that pixel code to your website, Facebook now can track how many people have been to your website. So how many people clicked on that? What, do you, what is that? Now you can actually set up a Google display ad campaign with a banner ad so that all the Google partner sites from weatherchannel.com and all, all the popular sites that people go to, you can even specify what sites. If people go to these sites that you actually have a banner ad there so that now when people click on this and they don't take action, you know, for, for every day for the next three months, they're going to see your butt, right? Yeah, they're going to see your banner everywhere. I'm like, gosh, this guy's everywhere. This girl's everywhere for peanuts, right? For like one cent, two cents a click on those banner ads with Google AdWords, right? That's called retargeting, remarketing. And I'm sure you guys have done this. You've been to Amazon, you, you look at a product, you didn't buy it, but you looked at it. And next thing you know, you're on a website and you see that exact product come popping up in your face somewhere, right? How powerful would that be? Just so you guys know, we got to get your, your, your clicks to your website up because Google won't promote that banner ad to companies that don't get any traction to their website. So you need to get at least 1,000 people to your website before they start recognizing you as somebody worthy of promoting your banner ads to. Well, how do we do that? Your website just doesn't get a ton of follow or a ton of uh, visitors to it. We've got to use ads to drive the visitors there. So you have to have an ad budget, you know. So now, if you don't have an ad budget, then then you've got to go back to your blog and video strategy to just take a look at. Let's just take a look at these followers I do have, and and get the most out of them. And let's use content and videos because they're all going to be aware of three real estate transactions. Sometimes the strategy is not, let's just get a million followers. Let's just start with a couple hundred followers and, and create content and do cheap things like boosted posts to get, why, what, why, why would I boost a post to, now you guys need to know this. If you have a hundred Facebook followers on your business page, if you post it to your Facebook page, Facebook no longer is going to get that content in front of 100% of that group, right? Why? Because they've spent billions of dollars creating data and they deserve to get paid for promoting it to everybody. I, I get it. I really do. But if you can spend 10 bucks and make sure everyone's going to get it. And then by the way, when you do a boosted post, you can add, add look like audience. So it spreads. Well, when people start liking it and then it starts showing on on their friends news feeds right that's viral that's awesome spending a very little amount of money doing that so if you have a tight budget that's the strategy create content boost the post and just continue pumping that now if you want to add you want to add more followers and you want to add, you know, add real estate specific stuff like homes if you're in the mortgage industry certain products if you want to do a sales funnel uh, uh, to attract for sale by owners or expired listings. You know, there's things you can also do in Facebook will allow you to upload lists. So you can upload the list. If you have an email list, you can download that in a CSV file, upload it into Facebook and target those people. Well, what is, how is that? Well, we can get a list of people that are expired, download that list, right? And as long as you know their names, right? Don't even have to have email address. You can upload that list and Facebook's going to, look for that list in your local marketplace and put your expired ad in front of all those people. So, you know, there's, there's endless things we can do, but where do we start? We start with really a content strategy, blogging, creating videos, and boosting posts and doing one Facebook ad and, and putting a low dollar value and testing the results. Okay. Um, you know, I, you guys tell me, uh, what, what can we do to, to further educate you on this and get you to do it? No, um, we actually thought about doing Facebook marketing for real estate agents. It's just a, uh, it's a slippery slope, you know, um, how can we monetize that? And because and as you guys know, you have to have time, you know, and, and I believe that if you just take the time to do it and if you get a little creative and you, you know, whether you're marketing properties 
or for sale by owners expires, or um, you're just getting you're, or you're just creating content that's non sales. It's not conversion content. It's called traffic content, or it's just home ownership related. Go back to what I said earlier: the Spider Advocate program, helping people to save money in around the house. You got vendors at discounted rates. Like this, like me on Facebook, or if you know of anybody, contact me, and we'll be part of my special offer. Right. You'll be amazed at the number of people that actually do. Don't ever assume that because you wouldn't do something that everyone doesn't do something. Okay. Do it, get it out to people. Cause it's like, it's literally like making a hundred sales cold calls a day and a hundred cold calls a day. will get 10 people to follow you. And eventually one person to say, yes, that's marketing. 110 one. Marketing is 110 one. hundred people see something, 10 people like it right? In this case, they follow you and you add content. One person will eventually convert and you'll get a deal. So, you know, did you spend a little bit of money to do it? But your ROI in this industry warrants that, warrants that as being a huge ROI because your commission and my commissions, you know, are $500. Yours is 5000 10000 So it pays to actually get followers, engage people and be a top flight real estate agent and have a really good brand online, you know? Um, I'm here. She said, I'm, I had the train backwards. I need the helmet. <laughs> Katie. So, um, you know, it's, uh, yeah. So we, we, by the way, before this class, we had a really good, and I recorded it. I'll send it to you guys. Uh, a sales training conversation. I had a guy from, I had George Brenning on from M&T bank from Washington or uh, the DC area. And I had uh, Ted Kennedy who was on from Phoenix and we had an open dialogue about selling about sales training and it was a really good um conversation you know um and we talked about that i record it so sharpening your sales skills is important guys this is the topic of marketing which we're going to continue to really break this down and to make it modular based for you so you can go back to the videos and follow it like a recipe step one step two step three and we're going to do it that that's what those 21 videos i was referring to step one how to create a business fan page right Step two, how to do Facebook Live. Step three, how to uh, do a post, right? Step four, how to do a traffic ad. Step five, how to do a messenger ad. Step six, how to do a, a, lead, a, lead, uh, um, a lead generation ad, right? So that every aspect of Facebook, and then we'll go into Google as well, how to do Google AdWords, how to do remarketing, and, and making sure your website pixel IDs are all tied together. All right, so guys, the, the bad news is it, it takes time, and it takes understanding, and it takes some work. Um, but the good news is once it's done, your, your website will have exponential perpetual uh, growth and you'll start to be the dominant player in your marketplace online. And it just takes getting the engine built like anything else, right? Getting your, your internet marketing engine built. And there's something that we're going to be offering you guys to say, all right, you want us to build your engine, you want us to build your website, tie your social media together, put your pixel IDs in there for you, get everything set up nice, nice. So all you gotta do is place ads, we're going we're gonna to offer that to you guys in January. And again, if you want us to do your blogging and content strategy for you, it's an extra 35 bucks a month. We're going to start that in January. So we're going to throw it out there. If you guys want us to be able to handle some of these things for you, uh, we'll be able to do that. But what, what, what you need to know is I can't do your video for you. People don't want to see my face. They want to see your face, right? You have got to commit to doing Facebook Live uh, Instagram live, right. And, and doing videos and posting those videos on your website. So, uh, guys, it's one to wait. I know I was eight minutes late, so I've made up that eight minutes to you guys. Um, there's more to come regarding this, but you know, like anything else, you learn something new. It's, it's overwhelming at first, but it's, it, you just tackle it one step at a time and it becomes, it becomes routine. So have a blessed day. I'll invite you guys next week. I'm going to do two more. Okay. I'm going to do two more. So if you're part of the, the workshop, that initial workshop that, you know, we've been through six sessions together. Uh, we did two today. We're going to do two more next week. And I am speaking in Phoenix and Raleigh this week. I leave tomorrow. Uh, so um, I will be doing two more training sessions next week before, uh, before Christmas is here. Okay, guys, have a blessed day. Thanks for joining me, guys. Talk to you soon.